السلام علیکم ایوری ون دس از حسن جاوید یور ٹیچر فار او لیولس پاکستان اسٹڈیز اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل ٹو مائی پاسٹ پیپر سیریز ان دس پرٹیکولر ویڈیو آئی ایم مینلی گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا اسٹرکچر آف پیپر اینڈ وڈ ڈیڈیکیٹ دا نیکسٹ ویڈیو فار پریزنٹنگ دا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف کویشچن سو لیٹس لک ایٹ دس پیج ناؤ دا ون وی ہیو رائٹ ان فرنٹ آف اس سی دس ٹاپ پارٹ آف دا پیج ناؤ ہیئر وی ہیو the logo of CAIE that is Cambridge Assessment International Education and just below that we have Cambridge O level written over here now the IGCSE students would see their paper like this so this would be the paper of IGCSE students at the top they would also see the same logo which is CAIE that is Cambridge Assessment International Education but instead of Cambridge O level they are going to see the title here as Cambridge IGCSE so that's one difference between IGCSE paper and the Cambridge O level paper now moving onwards uh, we see that here we have the title of the paper the title of the course the subject that is Pakistan studies and right in front of it we see the syllabus code so this is the syllabus title this is the syllabus title and this is the syllabus code that is 2059 so the IGCSE students would see 0448 instead of 2059 as their syllabus code over here so that's another difference between IGCSE paper and the Cambridge O level paper other than that everything every information every question every bit would be the same between IGCSE and O level Pakistan studies paper there would be no other differences now moving onward we have the next information that is this is paper 1 the history and culture of Pakistan and because this is paper 1 we see the slash 01 over here isn't it this slash 01 denotes that this is paper 1 this would be the same in IGCSE as well just like this Cambridge O level paper now below this line we have the information about the session and the year so this is the information about the session and information about the year in which this exam is being conducted now usually this exam of Pakistan studies is offered in two sessions in a year that is uh, October November session and the May June session the particular paper that we are seeing right now is of October November 2020 now just below this information we can see the duration of exam which is 1 hour and 30 minutes only now once you are sitting in the examination hall you would be presented with three documents by the invigilator and let's see these three documents that would be on your table the first one would be your question paper that's the document we are observing right now the one that is opened right before you is the question paper the second document would be your answer booklet and the third document would be insert so these are the three documents that you would see once you sit in the exam um let's see what this first document has so this is the first document that we have opened right here for you and this first document consists of as the name suggests the question paper this consists of all the questions that you would see that you'd need to attempt in your exam these are all the questions the second document that is the answer booklet so here we have a sample answer booklet and um you can see it begins with a section where you need to provide your name that's the name of a candidate and that should be in capital letters so this is my booklet 
now here uh, we need to provide the center number so an example over here pk007 and the candidate number could be anything one two three four whatever now the syllabus is 2059 and the component is slash zero one that is history now if you take any continuation booklet you need to write that you're taking a continuation booklet now uh, so here are some of the instructions that you can see on the answer booklet which include that we need to write our name the center number the candidate number in the boxes and that too in capital letters now while writing the answers you need to make sure that you write in either dark blue or black pen and do not use multiple inks while you're writing and do not write anything in the barcodes these are the barcodes you see these are the barcodes do not write anything in in these i can show you a page of it and here is what the page looks like so you can see that there is a column over here for writing the question number and there is a column over here for writing the part of the question that you are attempting and this entire page over here consists of about 33 lines so that's what your answer sheet looks like but um, let's suppose just in case you run out of space and you need to write more you can always ask the invigilator to give you a continuation booklet okay now uh, what about the third document that is the insert document so if we see this document you can see the title over here the title is written insert so this is the insert document and in this insert document we will see the sources which would be present which would be there uh, helping you in solving the questions the particular questions so uh, the two kind of sources that would be given in this particular document would be your source a and source b generally we call it the text source and the picture source so that's what your insert document looks like now one thing more that um, you are allowed to annotate this insert document for your planning purposes only but do not write your answers on this insert you know because you won't be marked on that you'd only be marked if you write your answers in the answer booklet now let's go back to our question paper and read out the remaining instructions so here we are now the instructions say answer three questions in total so because you see that in the information section it is written that the total marks for this paper would be 75 it means that it would be 25 plus 25 plus 25 which would mean 75 marks in total and the question paper would be divided into two sections section a and section b which means we need to answer one question from section a so this would be from section a and we need to answer these two remaining questions from section b now uh, when we'll see the questions we would also notice that there are some square brackets over there and these square brackets would uh, would tell you the worth of the question or would tell you about the number of marks for each question let us see the question paper in more detail for example this is section a and when we turn on the page this is section b and it says we need to answer this following question and this particular question number one you can see is divided into four parts a b c and d three five seven ten and for a total of 25 marks now you can see that this first question asks us to read the sources which are present in the insert document and asks us uh, the first question that is part A to refer to the text source part B tells us to refer to the picture source more about the types of questions and how to answer them in the upcoming video let's go to section B now here we have we turn the page to section B and in section B 
the instruction there is at the top that we are supposed to answer any two questions from this section and you can see we have two three four and five we have these four questions over here and out of these we are supposed to only answer any two of them now if we see that uh, the set of questions that we have in this section each one of them is divided into three parts a b and c a b and c and so on and part a is for four marks then we have part b for seven marks and part c for 14 marks and all of this set is for 25 marks so that's what your question paper looks like and that's it for today thanks for watching take care